Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a, uh, the parameters in an ABB VFD as well as how to download those parameters as well. It's a real good way if you have uh, two motors that are identical setting side by side uh, such as like pumps or cooling tower fans or that sort of thing. This is one way that will speed up a little bit of the setup if you are adding or replacing a drive that is identical to one that is already there. Also, I'm going to show you how to disable the override mode, which is something that we see in the York drives, which, as we all know, is an ABB drive with a York or Johnson Control sticker on it. Uh, sometimes if you try to download and uh, the parameters in a York drive, what it will do is it will actually give you an error. So I'm going to show you how to disable that override mode to where you can download it. The first step in downloading a drive is you must press the off button. It will not let you upload or download a program if the drive is running. So the first step is to press the off button, then simply hit the menu button, go into parameters, and scroll down to parameter backup. Once you go to the parameter backup, uh, you select that and then select upload to panel, and that will upload all of the parameters within the drive to the panel. I recommend you do this anytime you set up a drive. Anytime you are expecting to make changes that you're not sure if they're going to work or anytime that you make any adjustments uh, to the drive's operation, you want to back that up and save a copy. Uh, in case something happens, if you have to change it out, this stuff will work very well in speeding up uh, the change out of the drive. You can simply then back out and once you back all the way out, you press the auto button and the drive should restart with no problem. Now, if the override mode is enabled, you will get an error if you try to download some drives. This is common with the York drives as well as, you know, the Johnson Controls drives, which they're an ABB drive with a York or Johnson Control sticker on them. Uh, and you can see here, I scroll into the menu to try to download the drive and I get an error. You can see the error code here. Override mode is uh, not allowed. Override mode enabled. So we are going to show you how to disable that. And it will not let you download it until you do. So you go down in your menu to group 17 and 1701, when I try to go into there, it gives me an error. Of course, you once again, uh, what we have to do before we can do that is we must scroll down and enter a password into group 1704. That password value is 358. And here I overshot it a little bit, so we scroll back down and run our numbers up to 358. And once we get those values set, I press the Save button. And it brings me back to this menu here. I then scroll down to the next one. And you can see here, override mode is already off. because I've already turned it off on this one. And once again, you must hit the Stop button before you can make any changes. Uh, I go in here. You can see this is where you would turn the override mode on and off. It is currently off on this drive. Uh, this is after I had already turned it off and loaded the program. So we go back into 1701, and then we set this to not selected. Once we have that done, we can simply back all the way out uh, from this particular menu group. And once this is all disabled, we will then be able to go in to uh, reload the parameters into this drive. Once again, doing this is very helpful if you are changing out a drive. You can see here, once I press the uh, go back into the menu, uh, that I am able to download the drive with no issues whatsoever. It simply, once that's turned off, it lets me download it with no problem. Once it's successful, you can just back all the way out and press your auto start and the drive will restart as normal. 
Guys, hope you liked the video. Hopefully that it is uh, helpful to you. I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to drop me any comments and questions down below, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.